Now, we begin. Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dirty Mobs back. Some more Lowey gameplay. Uh, we're versus the Camille again. We played versus it a few days ago. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty much the strongest pick in top lane. It has been for a long time. Uh, has been any nerfs? So still is. If anything, you'd say um, Camille's gotten buffed a little bit with the uh, with the nerfs to the other Bruiser items that Camille didn't really take advantage of. Um, of course, she's running Ignite. It's very typical and pro play. You've been seeing it lately if you've been watching the LCS. So not surprised seeing more of that in normal queues. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video if you like my commentary. And check me out on Twitch TV Dirty Mobs where I'll be streaming more Alawi gameplay daily. Now, early on, you notice I'm very passive. If she, she, I think she started E. If she has E, there's no way I win. Okay. I don't want any trades. Heck, I didn't want to trade it. She took a turret. Sh well, I didn't really trade at all, but I mean, she took a turret shot. I still end up reduced health. Crazy. We're just waiting for level three. Trust me, I've crunched the numbers. I've done the math. There's no way you win. There just isn't. If both players are relatively even, um, and run down any. Now our goal is to keep the lane here as long as possible. Uh, Camille has ignite, and Shake the jungler has ignite. You are actually insane, yeah. Is it, is it a is it a stretch to say Camille's are elo inflated? Actually, it made me feel like um, Shake it was here, like really hard. Keep it here. Keep it here. I need to throw that as she was dashing at me. Okay, I just saw Shaco path the bot side, which tells me Shaco probably was up here earlier. I probably was correct in that assumption. I'll clear these just to get him out of my way. Second on E. How many of these is she willing to give up, huh? All of them? Really? Wow, very diligent of you. The third one always gets them. Always. Oh. Don't fall for it. Getting that bone plane with the Q is really important. I think I should still be bot, so I'm gonna get one more tentacle up. I could use my W, maybe, to dodge her E if she throws it at me. As always, the best time to throw your E is right after you throw your Q. It's just, the animation is just pretty... It's not an animation cancel, but there's so much going on that the enemy player doesn't really process that there's an E being thrown. People, people say, oh, are you doing an animation cancel? No, it's just, there's a lot going on. And, you know, a player can only process so much. This minion is actually really annoying because it would block my E if she were to E at me on the bottom wall. Really want mana, obviously. Getting reset. What do we want here? Like the question, isn't it? Maybe we should try a Gorge Anchor. I know it's been nerfed, but I'm willing to I'm willing to give it a shot. I haven't really played with this since the nerf. This is how you learn, alright? You all again, I really I'm gonna grab you all the time. Uh, because almost everyone who comes to my channel asks me about runes and items, runes and items, runes and items, runes and items. Um the way I figure out runes and items is I just build things and I see what works and I see what doesn't work. The, you need to understand, it's not about short-term gratification of, like, gaining and losing elo in a short amount of time. It's about acquiring the knowledge over time, which you learn through experimentation. I was watching a Core JJ video on this. Uh, if you don't know who Core JJ is, he's probably the best support in North America. Absolute incredible player. Talks about how you need to have a scientific approach to league. You need to be willing to experiment, take notes, be willing to lose. It's okay. Um, as long as you learn from it and improve in the future. I lose my fair share of games, and I make my even now I make my fair share of mistakes. But I'm constantly recognizing what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right, and I'm constantly trying to improve and get better. I'm not really sure what the skank is from Viego. I guess just a little maybe she all end with uh, shaking nearby. Be good. 
But yeah, so what are we going to do? I don't know if Gorgon is still good. I don't know if the nerfs were heavy enough, but I'm going to try it out and see. If we lose some elo along the way, that's okay. Wait, that really didn't connect. Enough for the dive. If Diego wanted to, this would be a pretty easy gank. It also could be a pretty easy throw. If he messes it up. Did Camille teleport already? I'm gonna bottle just to top off, get some mana. Probably did, right? A bad player will stay here if they're a bad player, but a good player will reset and just accept the loss. Because you can't say anyways. I just saw Shake a bot side, by the way. Again, there's nothing going on. I don't need to watch the plate go down. It's fine. I'm, I'm actually watching the minimap. I need to get an eye tracker one day, maybe. They also realize how much I watch the minimap. I'm actually a little bit low on mana. I'd like to have like 300 mana, typically where I like to be at. But if she all in me hardcore here, I'd probably win anyways. Got turret range. Remember, she doesn't have flash. Oh, Galio's coming up. I'm probably just dead then. Uh, I'll reposition in the best spot I have. No way! Wait, does this little taunt thing actually do damage? I thought it was just a taunt. Man. Tisk, tisk, tisk. This said, uh, I had him. So I am, oh, I'm distraught. That's all right. We almost had that, the mega outplay. I wonder if I, maybe I should have just recalled. I don't know. I feel like he just finds me. So sad that did a little bit of damage. Hmm. In retrospect, I wonder if I could have played that even slightly better. Oh, it'd be so bad for me if I shake it was here. They deny me this. Oh no! Broke my ankles. Right. Uh, I don't have ult. I really am afraid of shake. I don't know where he is. Although this pink ward would alert me pretty well. Most most of the paths shake would take to get up here. Hell yeah, might come up here. That was really bad W. Her dash is a knockup, so it doesn't interrupt your W's. Feeling pretty spicy you now. Not good. <sighs> really? It looks like we saw Shaka. I'm okay with the one V two. You've seen me. You've seen me in the last few days throw a lot of these though. But that's a real one. Okay. Back to the back to remember we don't have ult now, so we're going. The reason I knew that was a real one is because he had sweeper on himself, so it wasn't even like I wasn't even. I didn't even have to like hope it was the right one. I just knew. <gasps> That's so bad. That's so bad. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Please. Please let this be enough. Praise be unto Viego. Wait, no! Please don't miss anything else. Thank you. Okay, good job, buddy. Um, where did I miss one? Alright. <laughs> looks like, um, who was it who messed up their E yesterday in LCS? I forget. They, like, missed it. Is Blippo versus... I don't remember. But, um... All right, the mistake I made. So again, it's always good to think about what did we mess up? What did we mess up? Uh, the mess up was actually just throwing E. The moment 
Emil can't really commit to us until we throw E and miss, right? So the threat of having E up and not on cooldown is actually more important than throwing E at all. So the only way she commits is if we throw E and miss. So I should just hold E. If I hold E, she never commits. And if she does commit eventually, I can just trade my E with her E and then we know where that goes, right? I pretty much win as long as I'm on a tentacle. So, the mistake was throwing E at all. Being positioned aggressively, no ult, missing E. This ward is just, I can't look at the disappointment. It's. It's the most disappointing looking. It's just like it's staring at me. Nice. Oh, we didn't kill it in time to get the uh, vessel, but we did get the gold. Wait for her dash onto me. Okay, you can have that one. Nice. Okay. If Galley comes up here, I'll win. If my flash is almost up, I'll use that to outplay somehow. I'll, use it for, I'll find a creative way to use it. <laughs> I just want to think about what tools you have in your inventory. You want to think about the threats that are going to happen. And you want to think about, um, you know, you just want to do a little bit of uh, your homework, basically. Yeah, I, didn't, I think if I walked up a little bit, she doesn't recall. She dashes on me, she loses. Entirely sure if that's worth. But, you know. Oh, turret plating flying scene. Yeah, I'd say that's worth them. To secure some more plates. Yeah, just stop. Oh no, we don't know where Galia. Oh, Camille okay, might have teleport too. All right, let's reposition. Teleport. And we recall right here. We have an Ocean Drake going. We have Gore Drinker. We have teleport. I wonder. If, mm, all right, you know what? You know what? If I die here, all right, fade, fade me. I'm going for a greedy play. The thought process here. Oh, Camille teleported top. Dang it. The thought process was that Camille would run up here, and if, I, if Camille's aggressive, like champions like Jax or Camille or Rivens, when they see you low, like below 50% HP and you don't have ult, they get really comfortable about killing you. Um, so if you have like three tentacles set up, or even two tentacles set up here, you can actually just sit here, and they will just go on you. Like, they'll stop thinking about, like, should I dodge it? You're not. They'll just go, no, I'm just going to go kill you. And, um,. I think you just win from there. Quite a satisfactory. I mean, I should go tabbies, you know? Uh, I'll go tabbies. I really like these uh, lucidity boots, though. I really do. Um, let's have some fun with the items. I like to uh, spice up my item picks sometimes. It keeps the game spicy and entertaining for me. And I don't think it's as... And I, I, I hope it shows you that items aren't the, the craziest thing in the world. At least not at any elos that 99% of y'all play on. I apologize. It's just the truth, okay? Um, you know, what? it's like half a percent of players are in Masters. so And I think that's where it really matters, the itemization. So. I'd argue, I'd argue anyone who's below Masters probably some... Maybe, maybe, maybe D2 or lower. Anyone in those elos, you, you have so much other things, so many other things to, to improve on that would requ that would return a greater time, like a ROI, turn on investment of your time, if you thought about it, and they lead to more impactful parts of the game than itemization. If you want to get really good at itemization, you learn what the items do, you learn what they're good into, and then you look at the enemy team and you just do a little bit of analysis. That's that's item building. That's all it is. And that just takes time and um, just thinking about, thinking through things. So I'm going to go Ravenous Hydra, because I think it's fun. Going a little bit spicier of a build. Yes, keep putting those tentacles. Tentacles? Tentacles? Thank you. I'd like to have a ward here, but we don't. Take turret into clear top side. Seems like the play right now. 
And push one more. Three men. No respect for her. Cool. So take her jungle. Maybe blue buff will be up? That'd be nice. I doubt it, but it'd be nice. Nope. Yeah, I'll take crap. They might come over here from mid. We'll see. Again, I'm feeling pretty good. The Shaco clearly feels comfortable enough to clear this, but not this. Okay, nothing to clear here. I'll go top. What are you doing, sweetie? Because we have the timers now, because we walked over them. I'll go and take these, because I know they're about to come up. Shaco's up here, apparently. I'll let top push in. No, I'll just clear the bot side. We'll do a little around the world. Nice. No! My core drinker! Oh, if I didn't get CC'd, I'm so sad. I should gorge drink it earlier. Eh, we set up for a... One for three. Don't want grudge. Maybe we should go a little bit more defensive. Maybe we'll go Sarek Sage next. We really want, we could just go uh, Goggle Sun play for our defensive. But... Hmm, I'll just teleport top. There's a lot of gold up here. Drag's coming up soon. I'll clear top and I'll run for straight. We'll do that. Push, push, push. Be Draven's top side. It looks like they're coming top side. They're not too worried about Drake. This guy's really tilty. He was in our last game, if I remember, uh, yesterday. He was super mad. Yeah, I didn't think she would. You know, she probably thinks she could, but I don't think she should. The little Kanye. Well, Yeezy, the lyrics. Okay. 900 from Sarek Sage, keep farming, farm, 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 farm. That'd be kind of spooky. Oh, <gasps> my God. Not quite. She's just too far ahead or behind. I obviously wouldn't go for that play if I wasn't so far ahead. I want that to be noted. Um, there's obviously no reason to really be playing that aggressively if I were remotely even. Uh, but I am flame horizoning right now. And we're just kind of winning. I think he's Q. Dodge my E. Let's call it out. I kind of just want Seric Sage. Uh oh, what's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Oh no! He found me out. <laughs> I wanna wait for that blue ward, or blue uh, buff to come up. Alright, let's go get blue. Well, 
Much cleaner than the last Camille game. I'm a little bit more warmed up now, though, to be fair. I haven't been playing much allowed, I'll be honest. I'm playing a lot of support on my main account. Um, I'm actually trying... I want to see how good I can do at a role where I play actual, like, meta stuff. So, even if, you won't see me playing a lot in my main. I'm just not going to be doing it this much this season. I'm going to be really focusing on my uh, support gameplay on the main account. Lucky, Luckily for y'all, uh, from live streaming, I know the uh, public consensus of that as far as my viewership. Y'all don't want to see it. And that's okay. I'll just do it off stream. It's not a big deal. Uh, I know y'all want to see my allowing. So I'll focus on that for content. But as far as what I'm doing personally, I'm more focused on support this season. Cool. There's a reset here. We have a, I mean, we obviously have a lot of gold. Basically just run down top so far. But hey, fight me if you must. I think the last two items I'm going to go are Gargo Sunplate and uh, Serelda's Grudge. I'll go uh, this first, just because I don't want to be blown up. Basically, the longer the fight goes, the more my healing items will put in work. Also, the more resistances I get, the more effective that healing is, right? You know, if I... There's a big difference between healing a thousand health, but only having a 2k health pool and, you know, 50 armor magic resist, compared to healing a thousand health and having 3k health and, um, you know, 150 armor magic resist, right? The... I guess the overall health pool doesn't matter, but the armor magic resist does. There's a difference between healing a thousand HP with fifty armor magic resist compared to 150 armor magic resist, and that's important. Uh, it's important to think about it that way. If you're really squishy, you might do a lot of damage, but that health you're healing isn't that good, and you're probably gonna die a lot. Another thing I like about Ravnus is that uh, wave clear capability. I can just I just shred through jungle creeps. Which makes me more optimal. How I path. Only my ult for uh, the Galio knockup. You can ult dodge my. Um, if you tried. Yeah, cool. Oh, uh, Camille is such a good one for Vio to possess. Just a crazy champion. It's interesting that Viego is one of those champs that becomes stronger as the enemy team picks better champs, right? The better chance the enemy team has, the uh, stronger Viego's passive becomes. I didn't get that. That was just, that was personal. That felt personal, man. Much better game than last time. Against the uh, Camille matchup. This is a definitely a season where you can get a lot of Camille practice in if you want. Because uh, they she'll, she'll get picked a lot, especially as you climb. Well, hopefully that helps you a little bit. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.